Razer could be making your stream much more interactive with this device right here. What's up guys, I'm Unreal Hero and this is the brand new Razer Siren Emote. For TwitchCon this year, Razer is releasing a brand new pair of devices as well as some software that will get your viewers interacting with your streams like never before. The Razer Siren Emote is the world's first streaming microphone featuring an emo engine powered display that lights up interactive emotes and takes your showmanship to the next level. This microphone features an 8-bit emoticon LED display showcasing hundreds of emoticons on your microphone itself. It features stream reactive emoticons that respond to the activity that's going on inside your stream. This is a hypercardioid condenser microphone for professional grade streaming, which also has a built-in shock mount to dampen vibrations. It has an interchangeable stand gooseneck for different height extensions. This is also a USB microphone, so you just plug it in and go. Razer is also releasing a powerful piece of software called the Razer Streamer Companion app where you can use broadcasting devices like this microphone, as well as other Chroma enabled devices from Razer, which ultimately is a lot more eye catching to your viewers and will keep them engaged for long periods of time. Setting up the siren emote is really very easy. Just attach your desired stand extension. The microphone can also be attached to a boom arm. If you're not using a boom arm, your next step is to screw on the base of the stand. And last but not least, you'll plug the power cord to the mic into the bottom of the microphone itself, and then plug in the USB cord into your computer. To download the Razer Companion app, you're gonna wanna open Razer Synapse 3. Make sure you're at the Synapse home and click on modules. You wanna make sure that Chroma Connect is installed. If it isn't, install it. Next, you're gonna wanna find the Connect tab at the top. Go ahead and give that a click. And if you don't already have the Streamer Companion app installed like I do, you can click on this apps icon here and it's gonna open the Razer Chroma Workshop apps section where you can search for Streamer Companion app. Once you have the Streamer Companion app installed, go ahead and open up the program. When the program opens, it's gonna want you to log in with your Razer ID. Enter your information and log in. After logging in, it's gonna give you two options. You can link to the companion app with your Twitch account, or you can link with your Streamlabs account. Ultimately, you're gonna to wanna to connect both accounts. That way you can take advantage of every feature that this microphone has to offer. I'll start by linking my Twitch account. When you click the link icon, it's going to bring up a page in your default browser. When you click that link button for the Twitch account, it's going to say you successfully logged in. If you click on the link and it doesn't bring up this success page, you may have to log into your Twitch account and authorize the application. After connecting your Twitch account, you're gonna immediately go to your connections tab and also connect your Streamlabs account. Once again, it's gonna bring up a tab in your default web browser. You're gonna wanna log in with whatever platform it is that you stream on. I stream on Twitch, so I'm gonna log in here but they have YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, all different sorts of platforms that you can use. Once again, it's gonna say you've successfully linked your account and you're good, you can close the window. Now that we have both accounts linked, we are ready to start setting up custom alerts for our Razer Siren Emote. To do this, click on the alerts tab at the top. Now we're gonna go through how to set up a subscriber alert on the emote. So once you click on subscriptions, you're gonna wanna click the enable button. From here, you have two options. You have a general subscriber alert and a gifted subscriber alert or resub. We're gonna go with the general subscriber and we're gonna make sure we turn this on. So this is gonna show an alert when someone subscribes to my channel. From here, we're gonna add a device 
And at this point, we have several options for devices. Along with the Razer Siren emote, Razer is also releasing the Razer Kraken Kitty Edition headset. You can choose from these two broadcasting devices, or you can choose from other Chroma enabled devices. We'll get back to the Kraken Kitty headset later. For now, we're gonna click on the emote. So we've added the Razer Siren emote and you have several options right off the bat. When you click this drop down, you have the option to do a breathing effect, fire effect, spectrum cycling, starlight, static, wave, and a wheel effect. And at the very top, you can see here, you have an emote effect. We are going to choose the emote effect. Click on change emote, and it's gonna bring up a list of many different emotes that you can choose for your lighting effect. For this scenario, I'm just going to choose this plus one. So when I get a subscriber, my microphone will make this plus one emote. Once you've added an emote, you now have a duration option where you can choose how long you want the effect to display for. And this number can be anywhere from zero to 20. There's one last thing that you can change with your effect that you're gonna wanna look into depending on how your microphone is set up. Click this cog icon right here. And now you can choose how you want the siren emote to be displayed. So if you have your microphone off to the side or if it's tilted on its side, you can choose one of these two side options. If you have your microphone up top and it's pointed downward, you can also change the device to go down. I have mine set up down, so I'm gonna flip my icon. That way it will display it upside down. You can also preview the effect on your microphone by clicking on the test button. Cheers, hosts, raids, and donations can all be set up the same way as the subscription, but what these have that the others don't is minimums. So if you enable your donation alerts, you can see here that you can set it up to where you have a minimum donation amount to where it will display an alert on your microphone. Donations also have a tier system where you can add in another donation amount and you can set an even higher amount to have a different effect shown for higher amounts, which in my opinion is a phenomenal way of rewarding those who donate more money. If you broadcast on Twitch, then you have a couple additional options over other broadcasting platforms. You can set up an alert that activates an emote on your microphone whenever someone sends you a chat message or a whisper. This is a really nice feature for your viewers as it confirms that you have received a message from them. And the last type of alert that you can customize is one that actually isn't an alert at all. It is the background. So what the background is, is an effect that is constantly on your microphone when there are no alerts going on. So when enabled, the Razer Siren emote has two options for this effect. You can have a static color just resting on the microphone, or you can go with one of the standard emotes. My personal favorite for this feature is the sleeping emote, as it's a really good representation of nothing going on in your channel. Also in the Streamer Companion app, Razer has decided to put in an editor so that you can create your own custom effects. To do this, click on the Razer Siren emote and click the add button to create a new effect. If you're familiar with creating profiles on Razer Synapse 3, then this is very similar to that. If you're not familiar with Razer Synapse 3, then it's as easy as just selecting a lighted box and just choosing a color for it. Here you can see that I have attempted to recreate my Unreal Hero logo design with the editor. Once you've created your custom effect, you could also add a name to it. To put your custom effect into action, click on the alerts tab and click on whatever alert it is that you set up your custom effect for. And when you click on the effects options drop down, 
At the very bottom, you'll see all of your custom effects that you created. Go ahead and select your custom effect, and then you can click the test icon to preview it on your microphone. Also in the editor tab, they've allowed you to import GIF files that are 8x8 only. So if you can find or make a GIF file that is 8x8 pixels, you can also import those here. Online, I found a really cool website called piskelapp.com. This website allows you to make what they call a sprite which allows you to make a pixelated frame by frame image and you can export it to your desktop for free. So I use this web page to kind of make a flying cape. So if I click on the import button here, you can see here is my GIF file that I created and I can just open that up. And here you can see the cape that I kind of made. It's just got some pixels uh, with some movement here. Now once we click preview on device, you can now see that you have this GIF effect on your microphone. The Razer Streamer Companion app also works with other Razer Chroma compatible devices, including another brand new piece of hardware called the Razer Kraken Kitty headset. Alerts can be set up exactly the same as the microphone. Just add a new device and you'll see the Razer Kraken Kitty headset available there, as well as a keyboard, mouse, mouse pad, headset, keypad, and Chroma link. The keyboard is actually a really nice feature for the chat message alert. That way you can always address your viewers' comments. For alerts on your keyboard, you can have effects like breathing, fire, spectrum cycling, starlight, static, wave, and a wheel effect. But at the moment, as a background effect for keyboard lighting, you can only have one static color. I would imagine that more than just a static gets added in the future. Just because personally, while I'm streaming, I'd rather look at something more decorative than a static color. Here's just a small sample of what the Kraken Kitty headset and the microphone look like together. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, that way you guys see my upcoming videos. I will be releasing some videos on how to make some custom gifts for this, so you're gonna wanna check those out. Be sure to go and follow me on my social media accounts, Twitter and Instagram, and you can also stop by my Twitch channel and say hi sometime. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.